Hi guys, a slightly different video today. So, a hoo hoo, I think I'm saying that wrong. Uh, kindly sent me the Honolulu Pastel marker set, which is a set of 48 alcohol markers with jewel tips. So a brush tip and a chisel tip. Um, and it also comes with a colorless blender and the case, which you saw at the beginning and some swatch sheets, which is pretty great because honestly, I'm quite lazy. So if I had to make my own swatch sheet, I probably wouldn't have bothered. <laughs> yeah, I believe this set is 39 pounds. Um, I can't remember what that is in dollars, but I'll leave a link in the description. So you can check it out for yourselves if you're interested. Uh, yeah. I'd also like to preface this by saying I'm pretty much solely a digital artist. Um, I've never used markers, like ever, I don't think. Um, and to be honest, I hadn't really drawn in any sort of traditional medium for about a year, I think, before I did this video. <laughs> um, so I basically had no clue what I was doing when I started using these. Um, I also didn't really have a sketchbook to hand with paper that was that well suited for markers. So I think possibly the colours did bleed a little bit more than they would have done on better paper. But considering my total lack of skill with markers and my lack of proper equipment for use with markers, uh, I don't think the result was awful. Um, in any case, I had a lot of fun trying these out and would definitely try them again. Um, yeah. As a kid, I always used to really want to try using markers. Um, but at the time, the brands and the sets available were pretty pricey. They were certainly out of my price range at the time. And then as an adult, I just hadn't really looked into it. Um, <laughs> But I think Ahuhu sets are pretty decently priced for the quality. I mean, obviously I don't really have anything to compare them to, having not used other markers, so I don't know if there's that much difference with the more, like, really expensive markers you can get. But, um, I think from a beginner point of view, these are pretty great. Um, obviously the set I was using is a pastel set, so there's not huge variations in like shades there's not any super dark colors obviously um but i think there's enough of a range that you could still do some shading and there's enough of just the different colors in the set that you can do yeah a decent bit of artwork i don't think you need to like have all their sets in order to use them effectively Certainly the pastel set was fine for what I was doing anyway. Some of the colors are actually more saturated than I was expecting. Obviously it being a pastel set, I was thinking, I don't know, they'd all be really pale. Um, and when I was swatching the colors on the swatch sheet, I was a bit worried that they might actually be a bit pale or a bit close in hue to each other to shade very well. Um, but actually, once I'd like layered on the colours, it was fine. Like you could see that there was shading. <laughs> um, they did take a bit of getting used to. Uh, certainly, blending, like with the colourless blender, I found that a bit difficult. Like, I don't know if that was partly the paper I was using, as I said, wasn't great for markers. Or obviously, it could just be my lack of <laughs> experience using markers and trying to blend with them. Uh, certainly, if I use them again, I think I need to spend a bit of time actually looking into how to blend alcohol markers properly. Like I didn't do that this time, as I kind of wanted to see how well they worked for someone with like no real knowledge of how to use them. And like I said, I'm lazy, so to be honest, I just kind of couldn't be bothered <laughs> to look it up before I started using them. I just wanted to get into actually drawing. <laughs> but probably if I'd 
spent some time like actually looking into how to use alcohol markers properly and how to get the most out of them like it would have been a better result but i mean this is fine like for a first ever attempt using markers like i don't feel i did that badly i definitely feel like my second attempt as well which you can see here was a lot better than the first one with the snail or at least i had a better idea what i was doing so i think even if you have like no artistic experience at all like obviously i have no experience with markers but i have been doing digital art a long time so i do have some experience with art in general but like even if you have no artistic experience of any kind like this is your first time drawing i don't think you'd have too much of a problem with these markers and in fact i think the pastel set in particular would probably be quite good for beginners because the colors aren't like really dark or super super saturated you can kind of hide your mistakes by like layering on the color or you'll see at the end of this i like do the line art kind of with with a colored pencil and i kind of corrected sort of some little mistakes that i'd made with the markers using the pencil on top which you know obviously if it was a really dark color that would be harder to do so i feel like if you're just starting out with art or markers or whatever and you're not sure which set to get the pastel set would be a good way to go obviously you can then once you're a bit more experienced and have got used to using these you can then go back and buy more colors and stuff so yeah and i think if you've already got some experience with markers these pens would work for you as well like i don't obviously as i said i have nothing to compare them to but they don't feel like cheap i don't know like i mean i've used like felt tip pens as a kid and stuff and you can kind of tell when things like that aren't great quality like i don't know they'll be like really streaky and stuff yeah you know what i mean like these felt nice to use and i felt like the color even on my sketchbook which wasn't really made for markers the colors came out fine and you could still do a decent well obviously that's subjective but to my view a decent bit of art with them even not on the proper paper and stuff um yeah and they were just nice to use like i really love the brush tip but like that as well so it's, i don't know like satisfying to draw to color with that uh the chisel tip took me a bit more getting used to but yeah the brush tip highly recommend <laughs> so yeah um i think that's all i really had to say uh i don't really have any sort of negative or like constructive criticism type comments uh as far as i'm concerned as a beginner these pens were great i really enjoyed using them and would definitely like to try them more and get a bit more used to using them in, in the future. Uh, as I said, I'll leave the links to this particular set and just Ahohu's website in general in the description. So feel free to check that out if you're interested in these pens. Um, thank you for watching and thank you Ahohu for sending me these markers. It was great fun trying them out. And I hope you'll have a really great day and good luck with all your artistic endeavours. <laughs> Bye!